Hello, I'm Charles, an engineer at Tewanic Instruments. Today we're doing some measurements of inrush current, the maximum peak current when something is connected to the mains. We want to measure the, the inrush current of this DC power supply. It's a 400 watt unit, so I don't know, I would guess probably 10, 20 amps of inrush. We don't know. We're going to measure it using this Kikasui PCR 4000M AC source and it's got lots of sophisticated features, one of which will measure that initial hit, that initial inrush current. So we've connected this to the output of this and now we need to set up the various parameters before we can do the test. So we need to set the output voltage range to 270. We need to set the output voltage to 230. Set the output frequency to 50 because we're in the UK and the peak current we need recording so I've selected that. Now finally we need to say the switch on phase yes we need to select that and the phase angle you can vary that from 0 to 359 degrees and I reckon that 90 degrees will give the worst inrush, the highest inrush current. And finally, we need to say how long that result is held for on the screen, on this display. I'm going to say make it long, which is about 5 seconds. So I think we're all ready to go now. Yep. So there's the output voltage we're going to select. When we do power on, this button here, and this is the unit we're powering. It's already switched on, so as soon as we hit this output on, this little unit will come to life, and we'll measure the inrush current. Here we go. Well that's a bit of a surprise, 25.8 amps, that was the inrush, and it settles back to half an amp quiescent. It's not doing anything, it's, it's just ticking over now, ready to be put into action. Now this is the front panel display. We can see a much better display by using the software supplied by the manufacturer on a PC. So let's go and look at that now. So, we make sure we're in AC mode. We need the 270 volt range for output. Set the output voltage that we need to 230 volts. Set that. Output frequency 50. Now we want the peak reading that's already selected. We want the long hold time on the result. We've got the phase set now to 90 degrees. That will give us the worst case in rush. Now we can store these settings in one of several memories, review them, make sure they're alright. This will be useful in a production line environment for instance. Save that and then later on if we want we can recall a different memory maybe to do a different test. So we're all ready to go now. Start the measuring process. There it goes, you can see roughly one per second Turn the output on, we've applied power to the load, here's the, uh, here's the output ticking away now, about one per second. So we stop measuring, we've got enough information now. Here's the voltage, 230, the, the current settled down to about a quarter of an amp. You can see there the inrush, 26 and a half amps. Now there's other information there, there's crest factor, watts, VA, VAR, power factor, all various things that are very useful for analysis. We can save those to a spreadsheet if we like and analyse them later. So that's it. Inrush testing on a PCR 4000M.